Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Wepia and I form about faith. In today's video, I'm going to be introducing our new series to you. And the title of this series is Purity Series. And before I go ahead to tell you guys what this series is going to entail, I want you to just stay with me till the end of the video because I have an announcement for you guys concerning this channel. Without saying so much, let's get right into the video. Let's talk about what this purity series is all about, right? Um, so purity, I want to start by defining what purity is in this introduction, introductory videos so that when we start picking the topics one by one, we just delve right in, right? So it's really, really important that you watch this video till the end. Um, first of all, purity is a state of cleanliness, right? It's like freedom from adulteration or contamination. Now, purity was first originated from the French word, which is purette. And I'm going to be writing these things down because I'm not even too sure if I'm pronouncing them right. But yeah, so it was first originated or it's first, 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 like where purity came from is French, which was purette. And later on, the Latin people decided to take the Purit, and so it later assimilated to late Latin, which was puritas. Then from there, it went on to puras, which means pure. So, it's when you say something is pure, like I already mentioned, it is free from adulteration, it is in its original form, the way it was created, no contamination, nothing. It is just clean and pure. I feel like when we even use clean to define purity, it it's, doesn't do justice to the word, but it goes beyond clean. It is not deformed. It is not tempered with, right? As it came, as it is, it hasn't been, the innocence of the thing has not been lost, to be fair, right? I, I hope you guys, and I really pray that the Holy Spirit, like, gives you a deeper understanding of what purity means before we go, right? Um, like I said, freedom from contamination, from sin, from... It means like innocence, righteousness, chastity, right? And I know that for a very long time, when we talk about purity, the first thing that comes to mind is not having sex. But to be very honest, sex is like a fraction of what purity is it goes beyond that right and so we are going to be looking at that as well and in this in this series we are going to be using this illustration as you can see on the screen two circles which is the body the spirit and in the intersection of it is the soul right and i am going to explain what purity does and how it affects all these components so we are going to be taking them individually like purity in the body purity in the soul and purity in the spirit and how these various parts of the body or these i don't know if the, it's not part but how these various components that make up the whole human being affect each other in the purity journey okay so it's it's prudent right that we are pure in the body which is physically we are pure in the soul and we are pure in spirit and even the bible says blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god and so in this purity series we are also going to be talking about how purity is like a foundational currency into seeing god and in seeing god i don't just mean like going to heaven but then in accessing certain deep things of the father one needs to be pure and so we are going to be using these scriptures as our foundational scriptures and as time goes on of course we are going to be adding more scriptures the first scripture is going to be from psalm 24 verse 3 to 4. the other scripture that i'm going to be fo focusing on is in matthew chapter 5 verse 8 which i already mentioned that blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god and like i already said as time goes on we are going to also be emphasizing certain scriptures right but these are foundational scriptures for this for this series right i want you to stay with me as the lord opens up our hearts to purity in ways that we have never known before right and i feel like god is going to really do great things in our lives as we talk about purity and debunk ideas of the fact that purity just has to do with sex right it 
doesn't mean that when you have sex before marriage you are impure it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean the things that we have taught purity to be right in social studies purity has always been about being chaste and keeping yourself to marriage but then today jesus is telling us that it goes beyond that it goes beyond sex it goes beyond not lying it goes beyond all these things i mean there are parts but it goes beyond it right and so thank you for coming and thank you for tuning in i really pray that the good lord helps you as you stay on this journey with me as we explore purity extensively right and now to the announcements i just wanted to let you guys know that save a soul is kind of pivoting right and so we are going to be adding and i think some of you have already seen this we are going to be adding some live sessions right where people are going to be telling us personal stories of things that they have encountered so in as much as we are going to get resource people to tackle certain topics we are also going to be getting resource people to tell us personal stories of things that they have encountered things that they have gone through because we want to be having topics that are more relatable to the average human being we don't want to be saying abstract things and if you have been following me for a while you'd always remember that i said that i don't say things that are alien to me i don't come and say things that i probably haven't encountered or i'm not on a journey right i'm not come to say things just to sound spiritual or sound very deep it's it's not me and so in as much as we are learning about the word of god and trying to build our spirits we also want to share stories how people have battled things how they have overcome things right so i just want you to know that when you see live sessions don't go like oh my god how was this girl doing but know that we are pivoting and i believe that we are all going to be blessed by these things so yeah thank you so much for coming thank you for doing this with with me i really really appreciate you please share this video with as many as you can like this video subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys and have a lovely day